my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy, and welcome back to another retro recipe test. If you've missed my other retro recipes, you should definitely check out the playlist. I will put it down below. There are lots of good gems, including liverwurst pineapple and lots of jello molds, which are always fun to unmold. <laughs> Not really, but it is very satisfying to see your finished molded jello, but getting them out of the mold is not my favorite chore. Today I am back with another recipe that does include jello as well. It was sent to me by ProCode85. Thank you for bringing this to my attention because today I'm going to be making Crisco salad. What? Crisco, you know, vegetable shortening salad. Now the name immediately has your attention, doesn't it? But <laughs> when you actually read the recipe, it sounds like a totally plausible recipe because basically we're going to be making Crisco, but we're going to be beating it up with sugar and canned pineapple. So it's sweetened. So essentially we're making like a frosting and then we're going to be adding jello to that and it's going to have a graham cracker crumb on the bottom. So it's kind of like a pie and then we're going to top it with Cool Whip. So it's like a layered jello dessert, but it's called Crisco salad, which let's make some Crisco salad. <laughs> So this recipe comes from Phyllis Miller and she's from Clarkton, North Carolina. And like a lot of vintage recipes, the recipe is kind of vague. In the very beginning, it asks you to put a graham cracker crust in the bottom of the pan. It doesn't say how much graham cracker stuff to use. It doesn't say how to make the crust at all. It just says, put down a graham cracker crust. So I just went with a standard graham cracker crust, one that you would use for perhaps a cheesecake. And I took one and a quarter cups of graham cracker crumbs and a quarter cup of sugar, two thirds of a cup of melted butter. You're gonna mix this all together till it looks like wet sand. And then the recipe doesn't say what kind of pan to use, but I'm using a nine by 13 baking pan. And I dumped all of my crumbs into there and patted it out. And I love using the bottom of my measuring cup to get a nice even layer, very smooth and satisfying, nice and even. Then I place that in the refrigerator just to let the butter kind of set up a bit. Okay, so now we're going to make the Crisco portion of our dessert. And we're gonna take one cup of Crisco. I like using these Crisco sticks. It makes measuring the shortening very easy. And to that, you're gonna add one cup of granulated sugar. And then using a hand mixer, you're gonna beat this up until it's nice and fluffy. Next, you're gonna take a 15 ounce can of crushed pineapple and drain that in a strainer. So while your pineapple is draining, you're gonna add two eggs to your whipped shortening and sugar mixture. Do this one at a time, whipping in between. Now you're gonna fold in your nuts, one cup of chopped nuts. It didn't say what kind of nuts, so I'm just using almonds because that's what I had. And then you're gonna add your drained pineapple. Fold that all in. Now we're gonna add this pineapple Crisco mixture to our prepared graham cracker crust. And then I placed that in the refrigerator while we did the next part. So rather than waiting for it to set, I follow the directions on the Jello box for the quick set. So what you do is you take your two boxes of Jello, dump them into a large bowl, then add one and a half cups of boiling water. Now you're gonna stir this up until all the gelatin is completely dissolved. So I found two other Crisco salad recipes, including one written by Barbara Stevens. And in her recipe, she suggests saving the pineapple juice from the drained pineapple. So that's what I did. I had one cup of that exactly, and I added that to my measuring cup. And then you're gonna add ice until it reaches two and a half cups. Then you're gonna take that and dump that into your dissolved gelatin. And you're gonna stir this and stir this and the ice is gonna melt and it's gonna quickly cool down your jello mixture. And then if there's any other ice cubes, you're gonna strain the ice cubes out and then you'll start to see it set up. It's really great, super fast. And then pour your partly set up jello mixture right on top of the Crisco pineapple mixture. It's beautifully bright red. And then I covered this with foil and placed it in the refrigerator overnight. So we're almost finished. Now we're gonna to top it with Cool Whip. So let me go grab it out of the refrigerator. So here is a Crisco salad. Now look at this color. <laughs> I have not made jello in such a long time, at least not cherry jello, and look how red it is. It's mesmerizing. And jello, there's just something about gelatin and the gloss and the shake of it all. It's captivating, isn't it? So I have some Cool Whip here and I've let it thaw in my refrigerator and now we're just gonna top this. 
boom oh my gosh look at this look at that jiggle look at that shake oh my gosh <laughs> i love it bong, 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 bong. since the jello has set up the whip topping kind of just floats on top which is good so we're just gonna make sure the entire surface is covered so the other two recipes that i found for crisco salad also included graham crackers but they added them a little bit differently in barbara's recipe she puts a layer of graham crackers at the bottom in the other recipe i found also on reddit they used graham cracker crumbs and just kind of sprinkled them in between the layers of the stuff that we're using this is a dessert to feed a crowd. Look at that. Oh. oh. Whip topping on the floor. Ugh. Alrighty, let's see if we can get ourselves a slice out of this thing. Ooh, it cuts really easily. Like almost no effort. I mean, why would it have any effort, right? We're just using very soft ingredients. The crust might be a little bit harder to cut though. Wowzers. Whoa. It slid, it cut, but it's, whoa. Did you see that? It was supposed to stay up there, but it slid. Okay. Oh yeah. That's a big slice. <laughs> All right, my beautiful lovelies, will you look at that? There is the beautiful Crisco salad. And look at that jiggle. Jello has the best jiggle. So we're gonna get a bite of everything. A layer of the Jello. The graham cracker crumb is pretty crumbly. I probably could have compacted that even more. Get some of the Jello, get some of the pineapple Crisco. Itadakimasu. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. But you've got such a fun combination of textures and temperatures going on there. You've got the cool, soft, jiggly, cherry flavored jello. You've got the crunch of the nuts. You've got the fluffy whipped topping. And then you've got the Crisco portion, which doesn't taste like Crisco at all. It just tastes like pineapple. And then you've got that little bit of crushed pineapple in there, but it's not distracting at all. And then you've got the graham cracker crumb, which is a little bit dry and crumbly and buttery. It's great. This is a great dessert, surprisingly so, because I'm not even a huge fan of ambrosia salads or jello, but this is great. Mm -hmm. I really like the coolness of this dessert. I think it would be great for a potluck, perfect for a summer cookout. Delicious, great. And if you don't like cherry, I'm sure you could use any kind of jello you like unabashedly artificial cherry flavor reminds me of Luden's cherry cough drops mm -hmm. or cherry lifesavers yep cherry lifesavers combined with canned pineapple graham crackers sugar and cool whip it sounds strange oh and crunchy nuts it's it's delicious mm -hmm. so for those of you that are squeamish about adding a cup of crisco to a dessert Think about store-bought frostings and you read that container and it's whipped up palm oil or whipped up vegetable shortening, which is what Crisco is. So this recipe in terms of ingredients reminds me a little bit of a recipe that I made called aguduk, which is a traditional recipe usually made with whale fat or animal tallow mixed with sugar. But in modern times, vegetable shortening is often used as a substitute to animal fat and it's whipped up by hand with fresh berries, and sugar. It's a lot like frosting. It's whipped, it's sweet, it's rich, it's fatty. In this case though, we've got this layer of jello, which makes it super fun because you've got that slippery cool slip of it. Mmm. And the nuts. Nuts are essential. Mmm. <laughs> so there you have it. A surprisingly delicious, easy, retro recipe for Crisco salad. Big thanks again to ProCode85 for sending this to me. If you'd like to get in touch with me with a recipe or some kind of ingredient you'd like me to test out or try, find me on social media. 
and yeah thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed that one i hope you guys learned something please share this video with your friends follow me on social media like this video subscribe and i shall see you in the next one Toodling. take care bye